Hi, Ryan from Papa's Cat Cafe here. I wanted to take some time to address some of the frequently asked questions that we've encountered as we have gone around and discussed the cat cafe concept with the public. The first question we usually get is, what is a cat cafe? And it's pretty simple. You have a coffee shop on one side and separated from that coffee shop with a wall and a double door system is a cat playroom. Uh, where diners can take their food and their drinks and enjoy those while in a room filled with the 12 on-site cats. And another question we get with that is why would somebody want to visit a cat cafe? And there are a couple of main groups of people who would want to visit a cat cafe. The first group would be somebody who can't own a cat for whatever reason. Uh, maybe their apartment doesn't allow it, or their roommate won't allow it, their significant other won't allow it. And so they need to get basically a cat fix, and they can come to the cat cafe, spend an hour with the cats, pet them, play with them, and then go back home, no strings attached. The other type of person who might want to come to a cat cafe is just a person who really enjoys cats and would just like an excuse to drink some coffee and hang out with cats. And that kind of person might also be in the market to adopt a cat. And our cats, 10 of the 12 that we'll have on site, will be adoptable through Boone County Animal Care. So those are the two main groups and of course anybody who just loves animals. Now you might be thinking, I have allergies or my friend has allergies and I won't be able to drag that person to a cat cafe. Well, the cat cafe is divided with the, the wall to separate the cat room from the cafe. And we're also gonna have a separate ventilation system for the coffee shop side and the cat side. So anybody who comes in and just spends time in the coffee shop will get minimal exposure to any allergens that might cause them to, to have any sort of reaction that they might have to cats. A question we get sometimes is, can people bring their own cats to the cat cafe? Uh, when we say cat playroom, people think that it's some sort of playground where we can you know, welcome other people's cats and they can play on the, the cat room equipment. Uh, that is not the case. Uh, the cat playroom is only for the, the cat employees of Papa's Cat Cafe, the, the cats who are either permanent residents or ones that are up for adoption. And there's a number of reasons for why we do this. The, the main one is that you don't want to necessarily mix animals together in an environment uh, where they're going to meet strangers. And well, we're going to have litter boxes and we who know cats well know how territorial cats are. And you know, we, they might not like the litter box situation. We might have bully cats who won't let the new cats use litter boxes. So it's just a bad idea to, to bring uh, your own cats to the cat cafe. Uh, cats also can make each other sick if they deal with strangers. So that's why we've got 12. And I think 12 is probably enough cats for one playroom. So sometimes we get asked if the cats get to run all over the restaurant, and the simple answer to that is no. The cats will not be roaming through the kitchen, getting into the pots and pans with their litter box feet. That's just not going to happen. Uh, we're, we have the wall dividing the cafe from the cat playroom. There's the double door system, so that even if a cat gets through one door, they should have a devil of a time getting through the second door. Uh, so everything cat related is on one side of the cafe, completely separated from the coffee shop food prep and drink prep, uh, because not only does the health department demand that, but also it just makes sense. So a really good question that we have been asked several times is, why not rotate animal groups? And we do have several great animal rescue groups in the area and it was hard to pick just one and the reason we picked just one is because if we did a rotation 
basis, where it was monthly or quarterly or even yearly, we would be kicking cats out of the cafe. A cafe that we really want them to feel like is home so that they're comfortable and can interact well with the patrons and potential adopters. We'd be kicking them out to have to transition into a foster home or back into a shelter and then maybe coming back to the cat cafe or maybe being adopted and that's just a lot of transitions for one animal to go through and we'd like to minimize that just for the psychological well-being of the cats. Uh, another reason why we think it's okay to have just one animal rescue group partnered with us is that when we help one animal rescue group we're really helping them all because the helping of Boone County Animal Care and their foster system. When we take cats off of their hands, it opens up slots in their foster system to go and rescue cats from other shelters and other rescue groups. And it also maximizes their ability to take more surrender cats into their foster system. So we're never gonna just get rid of all of BCAC's cats for them. They're always going to be opening up their foster homes and their system to bring in more cats to help alleviate the homeless cat population for those other rescue groups and the entire community. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video and learn a little bit more about the cat cafes. Uh, we hope that you will come and visit us at Papa's Cat Cafe soon.